Hi everyone. Don't you hate it when you want to play your favorite retro video game? You, you take the game, you pop it in the system, you turn it on, and then there's glitches everywhere. Rips, tears, pixels, all scattered, and it's just a mess. Normally, what you might think is the game is broken, it's unplayable, and you, and you need to throw it away. Well, my answer to that is no. Most of the time, this is never the case. Usually, when, when such an event occurs, that normally means that the game is dirty. It's the pins inside the game are dirty and they need to be cleaned. Fortunately, there is a very simple process to cleaning the game and restoring it to like new. And you only need a few things. And these things are house remedies. You, 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 you can mostly find them in your bathroom. You're going to need Q-tips and some type of cleaning solution. I highly recommend rubbing alcohol. You could use Windex or something like that or any other cleaning solution you have, but usually the most common solution is rubbing alcohol. Now, the other thing you need, obviously, is a dirty game. I have here a copy of Yoshi for the NES. All you need to do, the only thing you, you, you need to get at when cleaning the game is the little inside pins right, right here you see at, at, at the lip of the game that goes inside the system. You don't need to take apart the game and use tools and pick at it or anything like that. No, 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 no. This is, like I said, very simple process. So, what, what you do is you take your tip, you open the rubbing alcohol, and you, you dip the Q-tip inside the rubbing alcohol, kind of kind of make sure to dry it off a little bit. Don't, don't get the pins soaking wet. Now, one thing I will address real quick is that a lot of times on the back of the game, it'll say to only use the licensed cleaning devices and to not use alcohol. I will tell you right now, that is not true. You can use you can use what I have in front of me right now. I've used rubbing alcohol to clean all of my all of my games and nothing has happened. This is simply a marketing tactic for you to go buy more products. Now, after you have dipped the Q-tip into your rubbing alcohol and kind of dried it off a little bit so it doesn't so it's not like so it's not all soggy, take the end of the game, you take a Q-tip and you kind of just Rub it against all the pins inside the game, like so. You see what I'm doing right here? You kind of and kind of make sure you go in all directions, like 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 go side to side, go up and down. Kind of make make sure you get it good, so that you can ensure quality performance when you pop it back in the system. So just take a few moments, get it nice and clean. Okay, I have I have uh, cleaned the game. Here, in fact, I'll take a couple more, take a couple more rubs at it just to just to make sure, just for good measure. Okay, we're gonna stop right there. The game after that, the game the the pins on the inside they should be clean. Uh, I have seen the Q-tip after cleaning it. It's pretty dirty. In fact, I will move up and I will show, kind of get a good view of what the Q-tip looks like after I finish cleaning it. The camera would just focus. Uh, come on. Okay, well, camera doesn't seem to be focusing. Maybe, maybe you can't do that while recording, but anyways, but anyways, even if, but, um, anyways, the Q-tip is pretty dirty after I have scrubbed the inside of the cartridge with it. Now, after this, uh, you'll either need to get another Q-tip because this game, because the game is probably really dirty, or you simply take the game, once again, you put it in, in the system, turn it on, and it should be performing like new. Um, if, if that, that doesn't work, um, you may have to refer to more mechanical solutions, such as disabling the lockout chip at the system, um, or having, or possibly having to re to replace the pin connector for the system. Now, these are solutions specifically 
for the NES, for the Super Nintendo, for the Sega Genesis. That I cannot tell you. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and um, I'll see you guys later.